this is Seth Juarez from Dev Express, and I'm going to show you a couple of new features that we have with our Silverlight Report Viewer. I've set up this product list by category report, and if you look at the preview, notice that we have this document map already set up. The way you set that up really quickly is you take a look at the bindings, data bindings for these particular controls, and you'll see that I've bound the bookmark to the category name. And then I bound the bookmark of the product name to the product name, and I made sure to set the bookmark parent to be this category name. So you see this, this sort of hierarchy in the bookmark system. Okay, let's load the report in Silverlight. I have this main page XAML file that has the report viewer already built in and a button that is designed to load up the report. Here I have a web service set up to actually consume the reports and pass them to the Silverlight Report Viewer. Let's hit play. Here you see the Report Viewer. I'm gonna click Show Report to send the report over. At the bottom, you're gonna see a little progress bar. And then you should see the report as usual together with the document map. New in version 10.2 with the Silverlight Report Viewer are expanded export options. So when you hit PDF file, you have additional export options that you can choose from. Another example would be the image export options. Each one of these has their special and custom export options. Let's go back and add a parameter to this particular report and see what happens. In the designer in the field list, I'm going to add a new parameter. And this parameter is going to be called category. We're going to leave it as a string. And then up here, I am going to add a new filter string for the report for the category name. And it's going to begin with the name of the parameter category. I'm going to click OK. Let me hit play. I'm going to go ahead and click show report. And notice we have this new parameter button. It's asking us for the particular parameter of category. I'm going to use the letter C and hit submit. At the bottom, you're going to see again the progress bar. And then you're going to see the new product list by category filtered by the category parameter. And notice that the document map still works as before. Thanks so much for choosing DevExpress. This is Seth Juarez. Until next time.